Hey everyone, Pastor here. Today's a pretty exciting video for me as I'll be building my first custom mechanical keyboard. I've always wanted to build my own keyboard since I use it every single day and thought why not just build one for my needs. My goals for this build was to create something quiet and clean looking. The keyboard kit I went for is the KBD67 Lite R3 by KBD fans. It's a pretty cool board and I've heard good things about it being budget and beginner friendly. I also chose the Gator on Ink Blacks as I've heard great things about it being a nice feeling and heavy switch. Throughout the video, I'll be putting it together and at the end give my overall thoughts on the entire experience. I've of course timestamped the video, so feel free to skip to the sections you're most interested in. With that out of the way, I hope you enjoy the build. Oh my god, finally.
Now, what's my thoughts in the Thai experience of purchasing and building a custom keyboard? So from the purchasing and delivery process, unboxing it, lubing, and also finally how much the keyboard cost me overall. So purchasing and delivery wise, I ordered everything from the KBD fans AliExpress store. But in the end, I realized that it literally made zero difference. Um, I still had to pay the same amount of shipping from AliExpress because um, with the amount of items I bought, each item for the shipping price added up to the $22 that KBD fans normally charges. The overall time it took for it to arrive ever since I clicked on the order button was three weeks or 22 days to be exact. Unboxing everything was pretty fun, especially that they included a carry case. I really like that. I would say lubing the stabilizers was pretty fine. The spacebar could definitely do some more work. I noticed a little bit of um, rattling. So if I unplug it, I do notice a little bit of now that it's in the case. Um, but I would have to see. For now, there's no really any point. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm satisfied. Now, everything was sunshine and rainbows until I had to start lubing 68 switches and not 67 because I had ISO layout. It took me a really long time. So I would say it took me around six hours. However, that was split across two evenings, which is a lot. And I expected it because as you know, beginner, I'm a beginner. I can't really expect myself to lube all the switches instantly. I do know people that speed run it, but I really want to take my time and not mess up anything. The first 20 switches took ages, but after like the second day, I started getting to the rhythm and yeah, it was it was getting a bit quicker towards the end. Thank God I bag lubed the springs though because it would have driven me crazy just trying to lube every single spring one by one with a brush. So yeah, I, I just put it inside of a bag. I put the Crytox 205 grade zero and yeah, I just shook it. I also filmed the switches because I had things about it, you know, tightening the housing and reducing stem wobble and improve just the overall sound. Finally, how much I paid for all of this. The cost of the kit, the switches and the keycaps was around £152.71. But when you factor in the delivery charges, the tools I had to buy for the first time and also the lube and films, the price quickly ramps up. I would say it's worth it, but that's up to you to decide if you want to start, you know, building your own keyboard. So in conclusion, I'm extremely well happy with this board. It is just amazing. I would say that the minimal colors, the muted sound, and the bouncy or heavy feeling when pressing on the keyboard, like when I press down, it just bounces back up. It's really satisfying to use and it inspires me to start typing more essays, I guess. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. I appreciate it a lot because I put a lot of effort into making this video somewhat, you know, entertaining or even informative. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment as I'll massively help a small channel like mine out. Other than that, if you want to see more content in the future, subscribe for more videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.